What's up guys? This video is going to be all about hair, taking care of bleached and or pastel hair. So first I'm going to go over some hair care 101 for bleached hair, um, something that everybody who's thinking about getting their hair bleached or has bleached hair should know. And then secondly, I'm going to go over my favorite products that I use to keep up with this. <laughs> so hair care 101. Number one, wash your hair less. I wash my hair average once or twice a week and that's because you want to keep the natural oils in your hair as much as you can because when you bleach your hair, your hair is very dry and damaged and so you, you just don't want to mess with it that much. When you get your hair wet, it's also weaker and easier to break so you just want to deal with that less. Wash your hair less. Number two, use purple shampoo. Purple shampoo's purpose is to get rid of the yellow brassy tones from bleached hair and it's because purple contrasts from yellow if you know your color wheel. Basically, the purple tones out the yellow so that your hair is more neutral or cool toned. Number three, invest in deep conditioning and protein treatments because your hair needs it. So I'll go into my favorite products later on. Number four, if you can take it, wash your hair in cold water. Hot water opens up the hair follicles and it makes it easier for the color and dye to strip out. So if you use cold water, then you can keep your color fresher for longer and also it keeps your hair less frizzy. Personally, I use lukewarm water to wash my hair because I can't stand the cold, but I sometimes will blast my hair with cold water at the end of a shower just to seal the follicles up and make it less frizzy when I get out. Number five, only use wide tooth combs to tame your hair. I stopped using brushes because brushes are too much and they'll pull on your hair and break it if it's too damaged. And so you just wanna be as gentle with your hair as possible. So it's best not to even touch it, but if you have to tame it, then, you know, use a wide tooth comb. Number six, no heat. Your hair is already damaged and fragile, so it's best to not use heat like blow drying your hair with hot air or using curling irons or straighteners. I stay away from heat as much as I can. If I need to blow dry my hair, I will use the warm and the cold setting. Um, I've only had to curl my hair once or twice since it's been bleached and it breaks my heart when I use it, but I had to in those situations. But just try to stay away from heat. Also, if I want curls, then I will sleep in a twisted braid or I'll use foam curlers, so just any method that does not require heat. Number seven is get your hair trimmed regularly. If you have bleached, damaged hair, then you need to make sure you are taming those split ends and make sure your hair is always fresh as can be. Next, I'm gonna go into my favorite products to use to take care of my hair. First of all, I love to use a coconut oil mask and I use this before I wash my hair. Coconut oil is awesome for your hair because it's most similar to the oils that your scalp naturally produces. So you just apply the oil into your hair, let it soak in there and get it all oily. Um, leave it on for at least one hour. The longer you leave it on, the better. So sometimes I'll leave it on overnight. So after I wash my hair with purple shampoo, I'll usually put on a deep conditioning and or protein treatment. And I've been alternating between these three products. So I will use something once or twice a week because you don't want to deep condition too often. So my favorite hair mask is this one by Macadamia Oil and it's the Deep Repair Mask. You leave it on for up to seven minutes in the shower and then you rinse it out. And I love this because it makes my hair feel the softest out of everything that I use. And I just love that soft feeling. So if I'm in a rush and I don't quite have time for a hair mask, then I will use this Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor by Afoji. This is more about putting protein back into your hair so it makes your hair stronger. And you just leave it on for two minutes, wash out, and then condition. And lastly, I will use this Moroccan Oil Restorative Hair Mask. And this one I used to use quite often but not as much anymore because I love the Macadamia Oil Mask more. Although this brand, Moroccan Oil, is highly reviewed and very trusted and loved on the internet. So after I get out of the shower, I will towel dry my hair very gently and I will use this leave-in conditioner by It's a 10. This one's called Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin and it is awesome. You spray it all over your damp hair and 
you know, I just massage it in there. Sometimes you can comb it through, but what it does is it just makes your hair softer and it feels less tangly when you get out of the shower. So, love this. And throughout the week, if your hair feels dry still, then I recommend putting argan oil in your hair. It doesn't really matter what brand of argan oil, but just put some kind of argan oil into your hair. A popular one is this one by Moroccan Oil. It's the Moroccan Oil Treatment. It's basically argan oil that smells really good and this brand is very trusted, so I would recommend this. I've used up this bottle, so what's inside is actually coconut oil, so disregard that. I just like to use the pump instead of scooping out coconut oil. It just feels cleaner. And lastly, if you have super duper damaged or recently bleached hair, then I may recommend this Afoji two-step protein treatment. It's for intensely damaged hair though. So I used this after I did an all-over bleach and my hair felt super weak. I just really needed to save it. So what this does is it adds protein back into your hair. It's this product that dries and makes your hair feel hard and then you wash out the protein out of your hair and you use this balancing moisturizer to just condition it. It's pretty intense. You're only allowed to use this once every six weeks. Um, I've used it once or twice, I believe, but I stopped using it because my hair is a lot better now after, you know, time to rest and using all of these other treatments. So that's if you seriously need it, and if you do, I get it. Bleached hair is a lot to take care of, and so I hope after this video you kind of get a feel for how high maintenance it is, but if you love it, then you love it, and you're gonna do what it takes to get it. So. That's how I feel. I love my hair. I love playing around. I love trying products. And so I don't mind, but you have to consider whether it is fitting for your lifestyle or not. So to each their own. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any hair care tips or products you want to share, then leave them in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!